Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY feature videos. this DIY, I would like to share with you how I created glamorous pedestals that may be used as a entryway table, plant or base stand, floor lamp, or in many other ways. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start off, I'll be using nine empty containers and I'll be removing the wrappers and the lids. I'll be removing the engraved markings using nail polish and a paper towel. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll take three and I'll glue them together using my strongest adhesive and my strongest hot glue. You may notice that the containers are open on both sides. That's because I had cut them open and had planned to use them for a different project that I never did. So I decided to use them for this project. I repeated the same steps for a set of three. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. Next, I'll be using a 10 inch embroidery hoop and I will just be removing the connector from one of them so I can glue them together and I use my wire cutters to remove the little connectors. I'll be using a total of three. I'll be using 10 inch hard plastic plates that I used in my previous project and I'll be using three for this project and I'll start by using my strongest adhesive and applying the glue around the edges and then I'll glue my embroidery hoop on top and go over it with hot glue. I need it around the edges to be a little deep and I repeated the same steps for all three. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you like videos like this. Next, I'll take one of my set of containers and I'll start applying my strongest adhesive and my strongest hot glue and then I'll glue it in the center of the plate. I apply hot glue on the outer edge for a better hold and I repeated the same steps three times. Once I was done, I spray painted two coats of metallic silver on all three. Next, I'll be using three 5 inch round mirrors and I'll start by removing them from their frames. Once I was done, I spray painted all three metallic silver. Before attaching the mirrors back, I'll be cleaning them with glass cleaner. Once my containers were dry, I'll be repeating the same steps as I did with the plates and gluing them in the center. and I repeated the same steps on all three. Next, I'll be using diamond wrap and I'll be gluing the diamond wrap in between the spaces of the containers. I repeated the same steps on all three. Next, I'll be using six LED remote touch lights and I'll be gluing two underneath the large plate and I'll repeat the same steps on all three. Next, I order beaded crystals from Amazon and you get two rolls in a box and it's 100 yards each for a total of 200. Next, I'll take my beaded crystals and I'll start gluing them around the outside edge a half inch apart and I will also be cutting them as I go because I would like them to be floor length. I also glued diamond wrap around the outside and I repeated the same steps in all three. I glued on a five inch round mirror on top of each pedestal. I added a square glass top so you may see the pedestals but you may also use a round glass top. I really do love the way this entryway table turned out and what I love the most is all the shimmering 
and the glamorous look that it'll bring into that special area. And if you're wondering, each pedestal stands at 36 inches tall. Each pedestal gives it that unique look when the lights are down. And if you don't want to use three pedestals, you may also use two. You may also use one pedestal to hold plants or candles. And since we're on a row, why not use two for a corner floor lamp? Here are the ideas that you may incorporate these pedestals in your home decor and however you feel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.